Now I'm sure most Photoshop users are familiar with the term content aware fill. If not, check out our five minute video on that subject. But I wonder how many have used content aware scale, which may just get you out of trouble in some situations. Now let's take this image as an example. Apart from losing a little bit of the bird's tail, the main problem with this is the bird is rather central in the frame. So let's try and improve matters using content aware scale. We need to start by just removing the lock from the background layer thumbnail on the right hand side. Just click on the lock and it's removed. All we've effectively done here is to separate the image from its canvas. Now with the move tool selected, if we wanted to, we can move the image. So there we have the image and the checkerboard effect is the canvas. I'll hit Ctrl Z to put that back. Now we need to go to the top left of the screen and we need to select Edit and Content Aware Scale. Once we do that, we see a bounding box around the edge. Because we've removed the lock in that thumbnail, we can click inside the image here and I can move it to the right. I just want to move the tail just to the bottom right corner. But now I'm going to hold my Shift key Click on the toggle on the left hand side and I'm going to drag it to the left. Now we need to keep our eye on the bird's head because even with a fantastic tool like this, there's a limit to how far we can go. So I'm going to drag it to the left and I think that's probably about as far as I'd like to go. Once I've done that, we can go to the top of the screen, hit the tick to commit that change. Now, of course, I'd have to do a little bit of cropping, but if I select my crop tool, make sure I clear any values, I can recompose the image. And the image is now nicely on the right hand side, looking into the space on the left. So let's take a look at the original image and then what we was able to do with content aware scale. It's not a tool we're going to use a lot, but very powerful. Now I've come back into Photoshop with the image we applied that content aware scale to. Now it looks all right at this size, but as you can see, I've picked up the zoom tool. I'm gonna to click and drag because we do need to have a close look to make sure that the technique we've used hasn't done any damage to the quality of our image. And I hope you'll agree that it doesn't seem to have done any harm to the main subject. Now here's another image opened up into Photoshop with a similar problem to the previous. And we can have a look and see if Content Aware Scale can help here too. Like all editing though, Anything we do has to be done in moderation or certainly within a limit that retains a good image. So the process is exactly the same here. Just click the lock to remove it and then we need to go to edit and select content aware scale. I'm going to slide the image to the left. Now the reason we have to hold on to the shift key as we click and drag this toggle in the center is if we don't, it's just going to increase the overall size all around the image. So we're going to see it disappear off the top and the bottom. And we only want to stretch it out on the right hand side. So holding that shift key, there you can see it's doing a pretty good job. I'm going to push this a little bit further, but you can see by working that slowly that it was having very little effect, if any, on the main subject, which was the horse's head. That's certainly what I was looking at as I dragged that out. Let's hit the tick and commit the change. Now I have been able to find quite a number of images where these tools work pretty well. And there I think we've found another. Content Aware Scale.